What's up, Facebook, YouTube, and all the above? Once again, yours truly, Michael Ferreira, coming back at you with another Style Your Life tip with some quick tips that you can use and implement and put into your life right now, immediately. I've been seeing this a lot, and I wanted to give you a quick tip on tying silk narrow neckties. It's so important to wear them and tie them the right way. One thing that I've noticed is that when you're using a wider tie or a traditional tie, it's easier to do a half Windsor or a Windsor knot where the knot is much fatter. When you're using a silk tie that is knit, it's probably to your advantage to be using it in a simple foreign hand like you see here. Very, very simple. It's probably the first tie that you have learned uh, and it's the easiest way to do it. So I highly recommend when you're doing a silk knit tie, it's important for you to be in a position to actually use a four in hand knot. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you how to do that now, but always, 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 it's gonna be more, more chic, more trendy, more sophisticated when you're using a simple thin four in hand knot. It keeps the elegance and the, and the uniqueness of the actual silk knit. So use that. I'll take my jacket off and I will show you uh, how to do it. Let's just put this here. Um, and as usual, we're in 360 VR. You can walk or turn around like you're walking around and check out all of the new stuff that we got in the showroom. So quick tip on using the foreign hand. When using a foreign hand, um, I have one on right now with the foreign hand. It gives a nice, chic, elegant, sophisticated look. So use that. When you're using a foreign hand, you're going to, rather than do multiple knots and multiple twirls, you're simply going to cross it over once, as you would uh, normally, like this. And then you're simply going to take the wide part and put it behind, cross it over one time. As you begin to see, you're already doing your knot right there. And all you'll do is come between that loop and then put it between this area here as you normally wood on your tie but it's going to be again more sophisticated more elegant more stylish and it will keep the beauty of your actual silk knit tie so rather than do what you may be used to with a uh, Windsor or half Windsor knot do something really slim really elegant with that foreign hand knot very very Wall Street elegant sophisticated Euro swag do this knot very slim. It keeps the elegance of the tie. Try it. Again, yours truly, Michael Ferrer. We are in 360 VR as usual. The same goes for very thin and narrow knots and uh, narrow ties, I should say. I would recommend you using just a simple foreign hand rather than a Windsor or a double Windsor. Use this tip. Apply it to your life. Style your life. Please pick up a copy of my book online at Amazon, uh, iTunes, Kindle, wherever else you buy books, Nook, and all the above. But we'll see you soon. The Perfect Gentleman's Pocket Guide by Michael Ferreira. Talk to you later. Style your life. Peace.